Hello, I want to talk to you about MIDI boxes and maybe some of you are interested in it. So let's start with the basic one. This is a, a splitter cable. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. You can uh, get it around 12 euros or something like this. It splits one input into two different outputs. And also you can, if you want to, you could, I got a second one here, you could also daisy chain them to a certain extent. Um, so with this setup here, like you have the one input and one, two, three uh, different outputs. Don't do this too much because you will get some latency if the chain is too long. To solve this problem, um, there are MIDI boxes. This is the Canton through 5. It's a small little device uh, made of aluminum. Um, it costs around, I think it was like 60 euros, something like this, um, or 75 dollars. Um, it's powered. That's important because there are some um, uh, competitors on the market, like the MIDI Solutions Quadra through, uh, which has a uh, 3.3 uh, or 5 volt passive um, connection it gets um, the power from the MIDI cables and if you put too many synths on it uh, you will lose some some notes on the way that's why I went uh, for this one first and it has like one input and one two three four five different outputs I'll show you in a picture what you can do with it um, for example if you have um, a keyboard or um, a keyboard hooked via USB to the PC and got uh, um, a MIDI device. Um, I use the Moto M4. It has uh, two MIDI connections on this backside, a MIDI in, MIDI out. Um, you could, for example, use a DAW and um, put the MIDI cable in here. And then you can um, control five different synths uh, with the computer. Next one is the Kentron MIDI Merge. It has four MIDI inputs and uh, two MIDI outputs, um, which means you have um, four different controllers like uh, a computer with a DAW, uh, a MIDI keyboard, an external sequencer, uh, or another, for example, a synth with a keyboard. And all the signals uh, which are going in here um, are going out to, um, out of these two MIDI outputs. So uh, no matter where the signal goes in, all MIDI outputs get the same um, information. And with a combination of these two, you can already make a real complex uh, MIDI setup. I show you a picture here where you can see um, it has an external sequencer sending data in, uh, a MIDI keyboard sending data in, and a computer or a DAW sending data in. And um, the MIDI out, you can connect this uh, pretty easily. i show you here with the, this MIDI out to this MIDI in. And now all the signals which are going in here are going out here, 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 and here. So you can control up to six synths with this, for example, if you put another synth here. You can also um, feed one of the inputs back, for example, into your computer to record whatever data you are playing um, on the keyboard. Just make sure you don't get any, any MIDI loops. Um, however, um, as many of you guys are, I was a, <laughs> some kind of gear addicted myself and bought more and more uh, synthesizers. I wanted to, to make a doorless setup, which um, doesn't involve a computer. I was only relying on the on an external sequencer. I was using the synths from Deluge for this. And I wanted to record the, the notes, the MIDI data from the external synths, like the PolyD or the Rev2 or the DeepMind, also back into the sequencer. So I was looking um, what other competitors are there on the market. Um, of course, you can find these boxes with a larger version. I mean, for this, 60 euros is pretty expensive. The merch box is around uh, 100 euros already. Yeah, I was finding uh, this one here. This is pretty huge. 
if you yeah, compare the sizes of these two, these CV together, um, wow. Um, it's the Mayo XL. Let's start on the back side. There you got six different um, MIDI in and out pairs. That means six MIDI in, six MIDI out. Um, you have six USB MIDI host connections, an Ethernet connection for if you want to use it in a professional studio, I guess, but I don't use this at all. It's powered as well. And uh, on the front side, we have uh, two more in and out pairs and four solely MIDI output jacks and another four USB MIDI hosts and a USB B port to connect it to the computer or to the door. Um, it has a LCD screen which has a touch uh, capability you can load and uh, save uh, presets which you're making with the software. I will show you that later and with here you can um, select the preset that you want. I don't use I don't use it very much because I have one setup and this is perfectly fine but I guess if you want to go live you can pre um, pretty um, fast select the live setup for if you have a different arrangement of synths and just press load and then it's done. So and with this one I'll show you in another picture here um, you can make really complex um, solutions. You can have a sequencer going in and out of the MyXL via MIDI. Then you can have uh, another synth going in and out via MIDI. You can uh, use the USB host um, MIDI uh, USB port to control, for example, uh, USB capable synthesizer. Um, and also, of course, you can connect it to the PC and um, use it uh, with a DAW as well and um, yeah it's pretty huge it's pretty good it's sturdy it's made of metal um, feels really good to the touch and it comes with a software that um, allows for pretty complex MIDI routing and filtering which I will show you next. This is how the uh, software looks like and I will show you quick uh, the MIDI routing. This is the MIDI port 1 and all the information that is going into the in this port is going to be sent to the MIDI port 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or until 11. This is the, the deluge, this is the main uh, sequencer here and whatever data gets into the deluge is passed to, uh, to the different um, synthesizers. This here um, is the synthesizer port, uh, the MIDI port of the DeepMind and its output is going back to the MIDI 1 so um, whenever I play something on the DeepMind the data will be sent to the to the deluge and um, I, can I can record the, the, the notes in there the same as for MIDI port 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. You can also filter um, the in and outputs. Yeah, if you are happy with the routing, uh, you can save a preset here. Um, I MIDI fixed. This is my preset I use all the time. And these presets, um, you can load them and you can load them on the device itself. Just to show you how it works, it works perfectly good in my opinion. I just uh, hit play on my deluge now. I press here record and then let's see what happens. Yeah, um, I hope you heard the synths playing and uh, I just stopped the recording right there oh, pop, just to show you um, what was happening. Uh, you can see here this um, it recorded all the all the MIDI notes. These are the notes for the DeepMind. You can see here the notes for the HydroSynth. It's the the lead melody which is playing, and here you can see the bass line of the PolyD, and also of course the 
pad sound um, which was made by the prophet and um, now you can play back and see what happens. <laughs> So yeah, I think the Mayo XL is a pretty, pretty good solution to, to a complex MIDI problem. So if you have any more questions, um, just ask me in the comments. I'm happy to answer them if you have any questions regarding MIDI setups and uh, any advices or tips you might want to hear. Just uh, yeah, hit me up and uh, see you then.